الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters, it's your brother Imran ibn Mansour aka Da'oman and I'm alongside the brother Strides Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Because he's taking strides all day every day Strides to Jannah inshallah So um, today's topic is interesting Okay uh, Wait, let me introduce the show first The show is called Real Talk For those of you who are joining us for the first time this is a show where you're going to get nothing but real talk, inshallah. inshallah. And this is particularly aimed at Muslims who are not practicing, who don't know their religion, who don't pray, who struggle, who find it hard, you know what I'm saying, to practice. This is for you guys. So if you missed out on the previous episodes, check the playlist, inshallah, wa ta'ala, and hopefully you can join us. The show actually, from this point onwards, only lasts for 12 minutes. It's a very short show. Start the timer now. Bang. Today's show is going to be on the issue of makeup act. Mm. Okay, we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of our, our sisters out there. A lot of our sisters... <sighs> Who wear hijab who don't wear hijab and they just they can't leave the house without that that mac that bobby brown that <laughs> benefit you get me they got that that mascara that con they, they do that like contouring and the tone i don't ask me how i know so much <laughs> don't ask me how i know so much <laughs> but uh <laughs> you know what i'm saying they got to make sure they contour everything and whatnot and mm. get the eyeliner in and the lip pencil and like yeah man they just feel like they can't leave the house without it man mm. And obviously we know that this is not even permissible in Islam. But yeah. before we talk about it from the Islamic perspective, like, do you have any advice for our sisters from the like, just mm. the insecurity perspective? Like, you know? Okay. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah amma ba'd. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to say to my dear sisters no. that uh, you're beautiful. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, Allahu Akbar. This is not coming from me. This is not coming from you. And you're perfect. Allah. This is not coming from me. This Allah, is coming from him. he's single too. <laughs> Allah, this is this is coming from Allah <laughs> Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So wait, wait, wait. You're saying Allah said they're beautiful, of course, and okay. Allah said they're perfect, of course, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Allah, who is the most perfect, mm. and Allah, who is the most beautiful, most beautiful. said that she's beautiful. Nah. Said that she's perfect. Most definitely. So why is she looking for compliments from some guys? Allah Alam. Where did Allah say maybe this? In, it may be in, it, may, it may not even be compliments or whatnot. But maybe the sister just insecure and feels like she, she's not even too good looking. Or she's not comfortable with how she looks. I'm, I'm saying this is deep. So where did Allah say so this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran. Allah said, and we perfected your forms. Woo! So Allah said, you know. Allah perfected your form? No, no, wait, wait. First Allah said, and we created you. Allah created you. Okay. okay. So we know Allah created us. Allah created everything around us. And then Allah said, and we perfected your forms. And Allah perfected your form. Are you hearing that, sister? You're perfect. So this, this isn't this is this is not no guy telling you you look nice. Yeah, exactly. If a guy tells you you look nice, it's like, look, Im- imagine you know you you got you got you got students in a classroom. Yeah. If one student says to another student, "Oh, you're smart," it doesn't mean anything. But if the teacher says you're smart, you're smart exactly. It, it means oh, this must be smart because the teacher's smart, right? So I'm saying this is not this is a human being tells you who's just like you says, "Oh, you look hot." You look nice. Look, look at painting. What are you saying? Babe, you look nice. If he says that to you, it shouldn't mean much. But when you're Lord, who is the most beautiful? Allah is Al Jameel. He is the most beautiful. And He is the one who's perfect. And He's created you and He said, I created you and your form is perfect. Everything about you is perfect, sister. That's a compliment for you to feel a bit like, you know, oh, well, you know, Alhamdulillah. That's a compliment for you to get a bit like, yeah. Allah just called me beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Alhamdulillah. Exactly, man. Because you know what it is? Uh, a lot of the times, and you know, Ustad would always mention this to us as well, yeah? He'd be like, a sister doesn't go outside feeling insecure, doesn't go outside looking for compliments, doesn't go outside looking for attention. Yeah. If she doesn't already get that attention, if she doesn't already know that that attention is already there with her, or if she doesn't already have a foundation to say, like, wait, who am I going to look out for? To give me attention yeah. Who are you? Like that kind of thing yeah. So if you already know That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Said that you Are perfect And he created you that way There's no need for you To change yourself In uh, At the default position You're going out thinking Wait What? Sorry Allah really told me Who are you? Do you understand? <laughs> and, and, and it's true Because like, if you're looking For compliments from guys Then you're going to try And do what is going to Please the guys Yeah, mm. You're going to put the makeup In a way where you know You're going to get you know, attention, compliments, yeah. attention. You're gonna dress in a way that shows off your body because that's what you're looking for. Mm. But if you know that Allah is the one who already praised you, and you're trying to seek pleasure from Allah, then when you go out, 
they're going to go out dressed in a way to please Allah. Please Allah, you exactly. Because if you're looking for compliments from the guy, you're going to dress in a way to please the guy. If you're looking for compliments from Allah, if you're looking for Allah to compliment you and praise you in front of his angels, mm. then you're going to go out dressed in a way that knowing that Allah is going to be pleased, pleased with exactly. me. So you're going to dress up in a jilbab, make sure you ain't got no makeup on, make sure you dress modest, all that beauty is covered, you know what mm. I'm saying, not exposed to the world. Not so any man can just look at you and let his perverted, rusty, dirty, crusty eyes just look at you up and down. No, exactly. this is something that's hidden. It's private. It's a secret between you mm. and Allah. Your creator knows he made you perfect. Most and certainly. the only one that you open up to that secret is your husband, your loved one. You know what I'm saying? Your family mm. members who get to see you. So, yeah, man, it's deep, sisters. Yeah. It's deep when you think about it. I was going to mention like as well that the, the fact of the matter is the sisters may be looking and be like, oh, but I don't do it for the guys. I just feel bad about my skin. You just have to emphasize on what Allah said. Allah, the skin that Allah gave you, that skin that you have right now, it is perfect. I'm the saying, I, I'm is. saying, are you saying Allah lying? Exactly. Are you saying Allah's not, Allah didn't create you perfect? Are you saying Allah, Allah's creation is bad? Mm. Are you insulting Allah's creation? And you know what it is, bro? A lot of people tend to get upset over these things as well. That you know they really get upset over how they look and how their skin is. And Wallahi society is to blame for That's that. That's what I'm you know, saying. You, know what I'm you see, because when Allah already told me <laughs> that He created you perfect and mm. he, he perfected your form but Allah already told me that if you now come to me and say but I'm looking at my face and I don't feel perfect then I'm going to say to you sister 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 there's nothing wrong with your face what's wrong is your perception, perception. exactly you yeah. need to change your perception your perception has been manipulated by society I'll be honest with you I stand in front of you as a man as a man mm. and I tell you like you know the, the, you know like they have this image of like you know the way a girl looks in society and I'll be honest I, I, I don't even find it attractive like mm. I'm saying like as every, every man is different I'm saying what I might find attractive is different to what you might find attractive mm. you know what I'm saying so I'm saying you can't label it as any one thing but the thing is society has labelled it as if it's just one image Yeah, I'm saying that is an image that's attractive to some guys it's attractive in some communities but it's not attractive all across the board all you see what I'm saying exactly. and you have to understand a lot of these women who you do see they're not actually looking like that all the time. Like I'm saying, you know Beyonce, she had um, her ribs from the bottom removed. Do you know this? Do you know this? Beyonce had her ribs from the bottom removed. Why? To make her stomach suck in even more. I'm saying she doesn't, no human being looks like that. Act. But you mm. had your ribs removed from the bottom so your stomach sucks in more. So it looks more smooth. Do you see where I'm coming from? Yeah. I'm saying you don't look like that. No normal human being looks like that. But she manufactured an engine, and which is haram. That's that's, that's yeah, you're, you're, you're changing the creation of Allah. Creation of I'm Allah. saying you can't physically you look like. So why are you trying to force it? Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? The way that they put some, you know, like these, the, the changing their lips and they know. Like, do you understand? I'm, you know, I remember one time I went to, uh, you know, in Jahiliya, I, I went to a photo shoot, so I had to go to a, a studio. Okay, so this is in Jahiliya. You know, we don't look at women or anything like mm. that. But I was at this photo shoot, and I remember that the the person who was in the photo shoot was editing. And he had a picture of a, of, 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 of a model's face. And uh, the guy was editing it. He showed me the original of what she looked like. I was like, A'udhu Billah! A'udhu Billah! A'udhu Billah! It's a jinn! Like, she looked finished. I'm, I'm saying to me, like, I'm not saying she's, I'm saying to me, from my perspective, I didn't find it attractive at all. But I'm saying that's Photoshop and the way they change the face. Mm. They, before they put her on camera, before they put her on your poster or the TV screen, uh, she's gone through like a transform. No human being looks like that. So you're trying to aspire to be what cannot be. I'm saying honestly, like, you know, people always talk, I, I, like, yeah, I'm, let's be with me. When I put up videos on Snapchat, people tell me, oh, look, you got so much noor on your face. Yeah. I'm saying that's a filter, bro. That's a filter. <laughs> I don't look like that. <laughs> so that's many a filter. people come and tell me that. They're like, Achi, every day I see you, you got more noor. I say, that's just the light. Yeah, bro. <laughs> no, it's the light thing, it's the filter. <laughs> you see me in person, I, I look normal to you. You see what I'm saying? So, no human being looks like that. Exactly. All right, so, bro, that's probably the advice that I would give. Now, what does Islam have to say about sisters actually wearing makeup outside in the first place? Like Islam is very strict on this, man. Mm. It's very strict on this because, you see, Islam wants to... Anything that will harm the woman's honour, Islam wants to put an end to it. Mm. And one of the things that harms the woman's honour is for her to be on display for other men to see her. It was very honourable, noble for a woman to, you know, not be a... Like, like, like the more hidden a woman is the better it is for her. 
Mm. Like imagine the Sahabiyat, the, the female companions used to want to pray behind the Prophet in his masjid. And although he said you can't stop a woman from coming to pray to the masjid, he still told him, for you to pray inside of that chamber in your bedroom is better than you praying outside of it. And then for you to pray inside your living room is better for you than to pray outside the house. But to show you what is best, not the living room, not the bedroom, but the little chamber, the little corner that the woman has in her bedroom. Because that's the most hidden shit. Hidden. And he yeah. said, all of that is better than praying in the masjid, the masjid of the, the prophet, prophet behind the prophet. Ali Sassam. So the more hidden the woman is, the better, the more noble, the more honorable it is for her. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it's not good for a woman to just every man to know her name, for every man to see her. and what, like, You know what I'm saying? That's not mm, yeah. praise, that's praiseworthy for society. A guy will take his wife and make sure she's on display, every man can see her. That guy's a finished guy. I'm saying that guy is what you call the youth. Mm. I don't know how to translate that in English. Someone just doesn't have a protective jealousy he, over he, his wife. He will yeah, just let any man look woman, at his yeah. wife. He's like, come on, that's disgusting, bro. You see what I'm saying? So a woman is honourable, noble. You know what I'm saying? No, not every man can see. I'm saying, yo, she's a queen. Ak. SubhanAllah. Ak, big man, Ak, you go to the Queen of England and you touch her. Do you know that's illegal? Bob, you get like... Do you know that's illegal? <laughs> to physically touch the Queen of England is illegal. I'm saying, it, they won't let you touch her. I'm saying, every Muslim woman is a queen then. Because you can't touch no Muslim woman. Mm. You can't go put your hands on none of our sisters. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So you're all queens. Allah gave you that status that the Queen of England has. And he's saying you didn't even need to be from no royalty. But you just have Iman inside you. You see what I'm saying? You have belief. So I'm saying, based on that, anything that will cause you to be touched or to be looked at, Islam wants to put an end to it. So that's why Allah tells the men, lower your gaze. Tell the women, lower your gaze. Tells them, men and women can't be together. Because a man might end up touching. He might see something. Mm. He might see touch her. You see what I'm saying? And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he told the men to lower your gaze. Because you don't touch something that you don't look at. Allah told the Prophet, Ali said, men and women can't sit next to each other alone. Because what shaitan is the one who's the third. Because third, third, shaitan is going to make you touch now. Mm. And you never, you never, you never, you, 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 you have to be close to something to touch it. And also at the same time, one of the things that's going to entice a man to come to you, to come and spit his game and his bars and whatnot, to entice you is what? The way that you look, look, the way that you look, if it looks alluring to him, he's going to go out of his way. He's going to want to come onto you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So if you, if there's nothing for him to see, it's going to save you the trouble of having a guy who's going to come to you. He's going to take you out, take your virginity, break your heart, use mm. you, abuse you. Then you've got a man to spread news. Oh yeah, this is what she's like in bed. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Take, you know, like uh, pictures of you and whatnot and so on and so forth. And that's why the Sharia is very strict. A woman cannot go outside with makeup on. In front of her husband and her family, who is mahram for her, mahram. not just your cousins. That like, no, 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 your mahram, like your brother and whatnot, your dad and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Your son, you can in in front of them, you can be comfortable. Inshallah, Taala. You see what I'm saying? But you can't on the street. Yeah. And, and 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 how strict it is. Let me tell you, hadith. How scary it is the Prophet Ali said, if a woman she goes out in the street and she's wearing perfume, and the men for the for the men to smell the perfume, and if the men smell the perfume and they're being enticed by it. The Prophet said she's a fornicatress. Allah. Basically, she, like she's a hot, she's the fornicatress, yeah, like, yeah. a junge. You know saying, someone who's having sex with men outside of marriage. Mm. Why? Because she's wearing perfume. Now, that doesn't mean that she's actually doing zina, but this is one of the things that leads to fornication. Like you know, when a woman's wearing a nice perfume, you look. That she's she's walked by, but you're still smelling that. Per- you're looking at her. You see what I'm saying? So I'm saying if perfume. If a woman is being called a fornicatress because she wears perfume, because the perfume entices a man, yeah. then what entices a man more? Perfume or makeup? Makeup. Makeup is even more yeah. now, you know what I'm saying? Because makeup will make a sister who to you doesn't even look attractive. Not that she's, she's not attractive, she might be attracted to someone else because I'm like creating a perfect. Sahih. But to you, she's not attractive. But because she's got that makeup on, you're like, Allahu Akbar. Mm. You know what I'm saying it will make you. It will make you like go after it even more. It will magnify her beauty for you. It will, it will, it will make you believe something that's not there to the point where it will make a man go after her. And I'm saying, if she's a fornicatress for the perfume, then imagine for the makeup. It's even worse now. Subhanallah. Do you see what I'm saying? So, sister, stay away from that. I'm yeah. saying you got a Lord who loves you, who created you, made you perfect. And at the end of the day, the religion wants to look out for you. Yeah, exactly. Allah doesn't want you to get harmed. He doesn't want you to get played by a man. He doesn't want you to get impregnated by a man. He doesn't want you to lose your virginity for there to be a man to talk about your business. Do you see what I'm saying? He doesn't mm. want you to get heartbroken. Allah wants to protect you. Do you see what I'm saying? So, you yeah, know. I think that was, you know, a, a brief, short discussion on that topic. You know, we could have gone in. There were so many yeah, things we could have mentioned. Topic, but, you know, brothers and sisters, um, you know, be happy with the way you are. You know, Allah, cre- Allah created you perfect. Be happy with that. Take that on board and, you know, um, thrive off that. You know, so that was that episode, brothers and sisters. We hope that you benefited. Um, and until the next show, 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله.